Yeah, I got you loud and clear. Okay, hi Terry. It is great to be talking to you this morning. Imasad is extremely proud to be supporting your world circumnavigation speed record. You're well into the journey now. You must be absolutely exhausted. Tell me a little bit about uh, about the, uh, the 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 records uh, effort, but also about how you're feeling at the moment. Yeah, well, we are nearing the end of our second. And uh, that's a big milestone for the record. As part of the record, you have to take off from one airport, fly to the North Pole, cross the equator, fly to the South Pole, cross the equator again, at least 120 degrees on the other side of the Earth, and then go back to the same airport. So this is our second big milestone. And uh, I think everybody's pretty tired. The pilots have their own bedroom. They're in, we have a designated crew rest system for them, so they're doing pretty well. And the rest of us are uh, are busy doing live stream and filming. We're making a documentary about this, so I think everybody's got about an hour or two of sleep, but that's okay. It's, uh, there's enough adrenaline for sure to keep us going. <laughs> and you're a fantastic aircraft. We know this aircraft very well because we work very closely. Satcom and uh, Direct and, uh, and Emosat, your sponsors, are... Uh, uh, work very closely with Gulfstream, but you're on a Qatar executive Gulfstream 650, which is an amazing aircraft. So I hope it's uh, everything's going well for you on the on the airframe. It is. Well, it's not just uh, the airframe. We were just in Savannah, Georgia, with SACOM Direct and MRSAT folks were working with us along with the Gulfstream. But also the Qatar executive team has been amazing. They have so much support around the world. They're really why we can do it. But um, you know, I was just talking with Gennady, my, my crewmate from uh, Russia here, and uh, he, he's joining us, which is great to have him on there. We spent a lot of time, months together in space. But uh, this uh, system that we have within Marsat and Sacrum Direct is better than what we had NASA for sure. Um, it's really amazing the flexibility and the quality of calls and the, and the continuity of them. Uh, this is really impressive. Well, thank Getting you some very much. Now. I don't know if you could see the shaking. Yeah, we can. It's either you're, you're su now suffering from exhaustion or you've got some turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm delighted. I'm delighted. Yeah, turbulence, to, actually. I'm delighted to see you use Imasat's network so well and to, to go pole to pole, essentially, uh, and get Imasat coverage yeah. all the way uh, really does show the extraordinary coverage that you can deliver from GEO. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah. last week, we announced that we're going to uh, uh, order our first two satellites in HEO, highly elliptical orbit, specifically deliver broadband services to the Arctic because it's becoming a much more important region for aviation travel and maritime uh, travel. And of course, it's geopolitically very important too. So next time you do this, uh, we'll be there with even better coverage. We've all, yeah, the coverage has been great, but we were LOS for a little while over the North um, in fact, Yannicka, the engineer we have who's made this whole thing possible, she's amazing, pulled a rabbit out of a hat. We were over the pole flying towards our uh, AOS, and we had an interview with Anderson Cooper, and it was about 30 seconds until he was on air. He was finishing up a story, and I was about to give up and go to the sat phone, and she pulled her phone out and said, here you go. It was literally 30 seconds before launch time and we were it was before we were supposed to even see you so uh this <laughs> coverage is amazing and our mission it's the 50th anniversary of apollo of course but it's also the 500th anniversary of Magellan. so human exploration started with merit and advanced to airplanes in space and and this anniversary is also appropriate in that same way from magellan to apollo to now people on earth can travel around the planet with this kind of connectivity that's a great story uh, to see the, par the, the line of adventure and, and exploration and courage and leadership from Magellan all the way through to the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. It, it's a really tremendous story and very inspi inspiring for young people today to think about what they're going to do and how they're going to contribute to our future. And what's fascinating is, it is. It's, it's also the story of Inmosat. We began, uh, this is our 40th anniversary this year, and we began... 40 years ago, uh, supplying services to the maritime industry. Then we progressed to the aviation industry, We're supporting you today. 
And we are looking at the moment at how we support spacefaring activities to the moon and beyond with satellite services as well. So as humans explore our potential on this planet and beyond it, uh, we will look to support them with rich connectivity services as well. So certainly an exciting world to be in. It's, it's amazing. It's, um, I, I think the space networks is definitely a thing. We have a lot of robots on Mars right now that need a more advanced communication network. So that could be in Mars' next market. <laughs> well, we relish those challenges, I tell you. That's what gets us up in the morning to support people doing amazing things. And we're very, very proud to be associated with your circumnavigation. Thrilled that it's going so well. And as you pass right under our satellite on the, on the equator and begin the, the second part of your journey, we wish you Godspeed and great success for a new world record. Thank you. Well, it's been great. We appreciate your We could not be doing this without you and without your team's work and Yannicka's work here. Um, it's kind of funny. We were, I was demonstrating before when we were at the North Pole, your satellite was basically just above the horizon. Well, right now your satellite is right up there <laughs> in just a few hours time. It's, it's kind of amazing how quickly that happened. You know, Arctic explorers have told us that the only problem with our land-based services is when they, uh, is when herds of reindeer cross the horizon because they can block the line of sight. So luckily you're or a bit higher. Right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Anyway, so I, I gather you've uh, you've got a piece of headwear that's very important. Is that right? The piece of say again? Headwear. I know that I know that uh, you're I normally. I do have a piece wearing. of headwear. Yes, absolutely. There you go. There you go. Fantastic. Look at that. Well, you, you look fantastic in it, and uh, it's a great example of our collaboration. As I say again, we're truly proud to support this this mission and and be part of helping people remember this probably one of the most extraordinary events in history uh, and uh, uh, the Apollo 11 moon landing. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Magellan going around Earth, it's land breaking, land, you know, landmark, and then Apollo moon landings. And in a lot, in some way, we're, a very, we're an international crew. We have nine people on board from nine different nations. And uh, we intentionally did here sharing stories, you know, as an American and a Russian having a good time. In fact, I'll just show you some flags up here from people from the different countries. We have uh, Denmark, Poland, South Africa, Ukraine, Norway, Russia, Canada. Now we just added Germany, Great Britain, and the U.S. So there's a lot of countries represented here. Even more than when I was commander of the station, we only had uh, three or four countries at a time, and we've got nine now. So and the ground team is even more diverse, so it really is an international effort. Well, I'm, uh, again, that synchronizes the Masat. We're 70 different nationalities just in our London headquarters. Wow. And um, I, I, it's tremendous to see U.S.-Russian uh, collaboration. The satellite that you are transmitting to me on uh, is at, was actually launched out of the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a Russian right, right. Proton Breeze M. You know that Cosmodrome really well. I know Gennady does as well, having launched multiple times from yeah. it. It's a wonderful facility. And, uh, you know, we, we this this uh, FaceTime uh, uh, interview could not have happened without uh, the Russian launch facility. So it's a nice, nice synchronicity. It is. It's very good. Gennady and I were there when we launched on our last mission together. The Proton, I, I watched a Proton launch. It was probably the Inmarsat one. It was maybe five-ish years ago. Yeah, that's about right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And another interesting correlation to where when we were on the space station is we flew from Teacher Satellite to Teacher Satellite. We would go LOS. We've had a similar experience here, only the, the space station was going much faster to the east. So it would go satellite to satellite. And but we also went from LOS to AOS by going over the pole. So there's a lot of similarities here to the space station and the communication is one of them. The big difference is that our communication is much better now than what we had on the space station. Well, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Uh, it's amazing uh, what we find in our businesses is we add more capacity, higher speeds, uh, greater coverage, 
uh, our customers just use data more and more in their business and it's transforming their business. It's equipping citizens to be fully functioning in this new emerging digital society that we live in. Connectivity is now woven through everything we do and uh, we are very, very proud to be playing our part in this uh, in this emerging world. But, uh, you know, it's changed, it's changed hugely it's over mission. the years. No, it's a great mission and people need to be connected. I think the more people are connected, the better economies grow, the more peaceful nations behave, and, and uh, it's really connectivity that moves us in the direction that we need to be moving, I think, as, as a human species. So you guys are right in the middle of that. I agree, and I was uh, also particularly intrigued to see that your mission is uh, carbon negative, and uh, we're also seeing decarbonization and the use of connectivity to support decarbonization around the world and seas on the land, but also in the skies where next generation SATCOMs is allowing planes to fly closer together, and it's also providing real time uh, flight paths as well to minimize uh, fuel fuel burn and uh, Right. You'll burn up the in urban areas. So I think there's a nice synchronicity there as well. You, you clearly have the decarbonization of your mission. We do too. Yeah, that was important for us. We're, we partnered with an organization called Carbon Underground, and, and they actually are going to make our mission not only carbon neutral, but actually carbon negative. They're going to take more out than we're, than we're putting in. That was really important, especially flying over the North Pole. You can and so I'm not an expert. It's hard to know exactly what it used to be and what it is now. But it was obvious that a lot of the ice had broken up and there was a lot of water up there, too. So um, that's important for all of us. And hopefully one of the byproducts of our mission is, is to publicize that fact and how important it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I know you must be pretty exhausted, um, so I won't keep you any longer. But I'd just like to say a bit wish you the very, very best in your mission for completion of a new record. Uh, so our fingers and toes are crossed for you and say once again how proud we are at Inmosad and SATCOM Direct to support this exciting mission and to bring uh, a, another example of memories of the, the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. It's great to talk to you. Yeah, great to talk to you too and without Inmarsat we could not be doing this so we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you, see you once you land Bye. and uh, we can celebrate properly. All the best.